Blazeforge.com and welcome to our full review of the Samsung Galaxy S Blaze 4G. This is the latest um, 4G uh, smartphone device on the T-Mobile network. First thing you notice about this device, it spots a 4-inch Super AMOLED display. It's got a front-facing camera there, uh, 1.3 megapixels. You can see it's it's got a nice solid finish. It actually um, feels solid. It's got that nice chrome finish on the side. On the right hand side, you do have a power button. It's kind of flushed here uh, with the finish. You do have your micro SD card uh, port. Comes with four gigs uh, 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 micro SD card. Your mini USB uh, port. Your volume rocker. It's on the left side. Got your 3.5 mm jack. At the back, you've got a five megapixel camera with uh, LED flash. Records a 720p. Now the back has this little matted finish, so it gives you some grip on the device, although it feels a little slippery at times. So just take note of that. Um, turn in on the device, you can see uh, the Super AMOLED uh, display. It's not Super AMOLED Plus. Now this is running Android. Zoom in a little closer so we can take a good look there. This is running Android 2.3 with TouchWiz 4.0. So you can see how. Um, you've got traditional touch 4.0 uh, settings there, very smooth, very fast. It's powered by dual core processors. So what you're getting here with the um, device is just a very, it's a very fast, very smooth operating system overall. Uh, this comes with a couple of uh, T-Mobile pre-installed apps. So you have things like Slacker, Xeno, Yelp, Game, uh, Game Base, which allows you to just download games um, <clears throat> on here. You also have your uh, 411 and a couple of the Netflix and a couple other applications that are you find preloaded on a lot of T-Mobile uh, devices. This is also an NFC capable device, so you have NFC uh, capabilities wherever, whenever possible. Now, this also is a 4G uh, 4G device on T-Mobile. It's, it's supposed to be uh, 42 megabits per second uh, capable. Of course, we know that is theoretical speeds, and we'll do a quick speed test here. My location just to give you guys a good view. See how well that turns out. Uh, during our testing, we've seen that I think a maximum of running is about 18 megabits per second. Uh, so those are uh, good uh, 4G 4G speeds. Right now, I'm just doing about 12 down and uh, probably about 1.5 up over 1.8. We'll just run that one more time just to see what else, what, how best we can get that. Or actually, let's just see where our server location is. Yeah, so on top stream. So 13 and 2.2. Um, and just give me a brief idea. So you can see we've got some varying speeds, and these are in different areas. Uh, but in the Boston area, uh, I believe my my highest speed was about you know, well here right now recently 14 or so so you still get 4G speeds but depending on location so any anyway, 4G speed tests all depend on location and how good the network is there now as we mentioned this has a 5 megapixel camera so let's take a look at the camera the camera here is running your stock um, your not your stock but your uh, TouchWiz interface so you can see. In here you do have those touch with settings and let's take a look at a couple of pictures so here looking at some of the photos you can see how well it takes photos on the device uh, giving you a very good idea of what uh, photos look like on the device and also you can take a good look at a video for about 30 seconds so recording here with the uh, Samsung Galaxy S Blaze 4G uh, recording is 720p uh, so this this video is tied in with the main review video. Uh, the camera does a good job of 720p. Um, so you expect uh, Samsung has done a good job in the past with cameras at 720. I believe there's a plane above us. You can see that? Um, just giving you just a quick look at video recording with the camera, and um, and then we will just continue with the review from here. Uh, the uh, Samsung Galaxy S Blaze 4G is an interesting device. Um, it's basically a Galaxy S line device. 
you get very good speeds uh, uh, with uh, 4G, uh, 42 megabits per second chip in there, um, depending on location. What you do have here is a device that battery life wise is comparable to your Galaxy S2, um, uh, or slightly, actually slightly better than what you have on T-Mobile. Um, when it comes to uh, functionality, it's got um, it's got run Android 2.3. It comes with four gigabyte uh, SD card, and um, also you do have um, you do have HD recording on the device, but at 720p. Um, it's a nice device. It's priced at 150 with a 50 dollar main rebate, but there are places you can get it for about 100 dollars. And if you're looking to upgrade on the T-Mobile network, um, and you're looking for something not too large, maybe you're thinking the Galaxy S2 is a little bit too big, or the Amaze 4G is bigger. This actually is a nice device. I think that will work well for you. A four-inch display. It's not heavy. It's uh, it's it's light. It's got good weight to it, though. Uh, it's got a nice finish. It's got a good camera. Um, it's also um, it's got a nice display. So if you're looking for uh, an upgrade, I think this is something you should take a look at. I definitely recommend it on the T-Mobile network. So if you have any questions or any comments about the Samsung Galaxy S Blaze 4G, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all border work with uh, two O's, as well as our new channel, Board Fab. So this is Thunder E saying thank you, and always enjoy entertainment.